All right, guys, and welcome back to the Long Game Channel. Today we have Season 5 of our My Team Career Mode on F1 2022, and what a start it's been. Four years, three different champions. Will we see a fourth champion in the fifth? Or will Charles Leclerc, Lando Norris, or Max Verstappen climb back to the top of the pedestal? We're about to find out, but before we do, if you could please drop a like on the video and give the channel a subscribe. The support we've had at the start of this series has been incredible and I am buzzing to keep it going. So let's see the driver changes. So Daniel Ricciardo called it a day after a disappointing second stint at Red Bull, which allowed Nicholas Latifi to move to Red Bull. Bit of a shock move really, but it did allow Robert Schwartzman to make the move to Williams and they then hired Felipe Drogovic at Haas to replace him. And with the shock move of Latifi to Red Bull, we headed to Bahrain where Lando Norris picked up victory in the first race of the season ahead of Max Verstappen in second, Russell was third, Leclerc fourth, Hamilton fifth, Sainz sixth, Latifi in seventh, Ocon eighth, Albon ninth, and Stroll managed to get both Aston Martins in the top ten. Well, his start to the season this year is a lot different from last year. Lando Norris back-to-back -back victories and Sebastian Vettel finished second, making it a 1-2 for McLaren. George Russell rounded off the podium in third and Max Verstappen was fourth with Hamilton fifth, Sainz sixth, Gasly seventh, Ocon eighth, Latifi once again very disappointing in ninth and Albon finished in tenth. And it's a hat-trick of victories for Lando Norris at the start of this season as he wins in Australia. Vettel once again makes it a 1-2 for McLaren. Russell rounding off the podium again. Leclerc 4th, Verstappen 5th, Gasly 6th, Ocon 7th, Latifi 8th. Very disappointing start to Red Bull for him. Bottas 9th and Albon got the final points in 10th. And with that, we headed to Imola for the first sprint weekend of the season where Lando Norris wins the sprint race ahead of Max Verstappen in second, Vettel third, Leclerc fourth, Hamilton fifth, Sainz sixth, Gasly seventh, and Ocon picked up the final points position in eighth. And all that led to the Grand Prix where Lando Norris picked up a fourth Grand Prix victory of the season and Vettel made it a third. McLaren 1-2 on the bounce. Verstappen ended up on the podium with Russell fourth, Leclerc fifth, Hamilton sixth, Gasly seventh, Ocon eighth, Latifi very disappointing once again in ninth and Albon. 10th. So all the fun is being had by Lando and McLaren, but as we headed to Miami, George Russell joined the party with victory whilst Leclerc was second and Verstappen rounded off the podium. Norris was fourth, Hamilton fifth, Vettel sixth, Sainz seventh, Gasly eighth, Latifi ninth, and Ocon got that final point for Alpine. And all that means after five races, it is Lando Norris in charge of the Drivers' Championship. 42 points ahead of George Russell in second. Verstappen is third, Vettel fourth, Leclerc fifth, Hamilton sixth, Gasly seventh, Sainz eighth, Ocon ninth, and Latifi rounds off the top ten. And in the Constructors' Championship, McLaren lead the way. 67 points ahead of Mercedes in second, Red Bull a third, Ferrari fourth. Alpine 5th, Aston Martin 6th, and Alfa Tauri, the only other point scorer in 7th. Williams, Alfa Romeo and Haas all yet to score. And Lando Norris gets back to winning ways in Spain, where George Russell came 2nd, Verstappen 3rd, Hamilton 4th, Leclerc 5th, Vettel 6th, Sainz 7th, Gasly 8th, Latifi 9th, and Ocon finished in 10th. But George Russell responds in Monaco as he wins and Lando Norris comes second, Leclerc is third, Vettel fourth, Hamilton fifth, Verstappen sixth, Sainz seventh, Gasly eighth, Ocon ninth and Latifi creeps into the points in tenth. They seem to be trading victories at the moment. Lando Norris picks it up in Azerbaijan with Vettel in second, making it yet another McLaren 1-2. Russell rounds off the podium in third. Leclerc fourth, Verstappen fifth, Hamilton sixth, Sainz seventh, Gasly eighth, Ocon ninth, and Latifi finished in tenth. And next up we headed to Canada and it's George Russell who picks up the victory. Lando Norris in second, those two Brits really are shining this season. Max Verstappen came third, Leclerc fourth, Hamilton fifth, Sainz sixth, 
Vettel 7th, Latifi 8th, Gasly 9th and Ocon managed to finish 10th to make sure both Alpines picked up points. And he's at it again, Lando Norris not willing to give up his lead at the top, wins in Britain, Leclerc was 2nd, Verstappen 3rd, Russell 4th, Vettel 5th, Hamilton 6th, Gasly 7th, Latifi 8th, Ocon 9th and Bottas got into the points in 10th. And as usual after Britain we have a sprint weekend in Austria where George Russell wins the sprint, Verstappen finish second, Norris third, Leclerc fourth, Sainz fifth, Hamilton sixth, Vettel seventh and Gasly picked up the final point in eighth. And that all meant in the Grand Prix we finally had a victor that wasn't George Russell or Lando Norris as Charles Leclerc finished top of the pile, Verstappen was second, Russell third, Sainz fourth, Hamilton fifth, Vettel sixth, Gasly seventh, Latifi eighth, Bottas ninth and Sonoda finished in tenth. And it's back-to-back -back wins for Charles Leclerc as he wins in France, Verstappen second, Sainz getting both Ferraris onto that podium. Lando Norris was fourth, Hamilton fifth, Vettel sixth, Gasly seventh, Ocon eighth, Bottas ninth, and Latifi finished in tenth. And in the final race before the mid-season break, Max Verstappen picks up victory in Hungary. Russell was second, Leclerc third, Sainz fourth, Norris fifth, Hamilton sixth, Vettel seventh, Bottas eighth, Gasly ninth, and Ocon pipped Latifi to the final point in 10th. So heading into the mid-season break, it is Lando Norris leading the way in the Drivers' Championship. 46 points ahead of George Russell in 2nd, Verstappen is 3rd, Leclerc 4th, Vettel 5th, Hamilton 6th, Sainz 7th, Gasly 8th, Ocon 9th and Latifi rounds off the top 10. And in the constructors, McLaren lead the way, 70 points ahead of Mercedes in second, Ferrari a third, Red Bull fourth, Alpine fifth, Alpha Tauri sixth, Aston Martin seventh, and Williams, Haas and Alfa Romeo are all still yet to score. But Leclerc's fine run of form continues in Belgium as he wins and Carlos Sainz backs him up in second for Ferrari 1-2. Verstappen rounds off the podium in third, Russell 4th, Hamilton 5th, Vettel 6th, Gasly 7th, Sunoda 8th, Ocon 9th and Latifi finished in 10th. It's another victory and all of a sudden he's becoming a title contender as Charles Leclerc wins in the Netherlands. Verstappen finished second in his home Grand Prix and Russell rounded off the podium in third. Sainz was fourth, Norris fifth, Hamilton sixth, Bottas seventh, Sonoda eighth, Gasly ninth and Ocon finished in tenth. And a massive victory for Charles Leclerc in Italy which is huge for Ferrari. Norris was second. Russell was third, Verstappen fourth, Vettel fifth, Felipe Drogovic in a career high of sixth in the Haas, Hamilton was seventh, Guan Yu Zhou eighth also in a Haas, Gasly ninth and Sonoda finished in tenth. So now we headed off to Asia where Charles Leclerc continued his fine form and picked up victory in Singapore. Russell was second, Verstappen third, Norris fourth, Sainz fifth, Vettel sixth, Hamilton 7th, Bottas 8th, Latifi 9th and Gasly finished in 10th. But Lando's not going to be giving up on this Drivers' Championship without a fight as he picks a victory in Japan. Verstappen was 2nd, Leclerc rounded off the podium in 3rd, Russell 4th, Vettel 5th, Hamilton 6th, Sainz 7th, Sonoda 8th, Gasly 9th and Bottas finished in 10th. And now we travelled across the pond to the USA where Max Verstappen picked up victory in his Red Bull. Charles Leclerc was second, Norris third, Russell fourth, Sainz fifth, Hamilton sixth, Vettel seventh, Bottas eighth, Latifi ninth and Drogovic once again picking up points for Haas in tenth. And that means with three races remaining... Lando Norris clings on to his lead at the top of the Drivers' Championship but only by 15 points from Charles Leclerc. Verstappen still also in with the shout, 35 points off the pace. And Russell isn't completely out of it in fourth, he's 42 points off the pace. But Vettel's in fifth, Hamilton sixth, Sainz seventh, Gasly eighth, Latifi ninth and Okoff rounded off the top ten. 
and in the Constructors' Championship, it's tightening up a little bit there too. McLaren lead the way, still 52 points ahead of Ferrari in second. Mercedes are 62 points off the pace in third. Red Bull are fourth, Alpine fifth, Alpha Tauri sixth, Haas up to seventh, and Aston Martin at eighth. Williams and Alfa Romeo both yet to score. And in the first of those big three races, we went to Mexico and Charles Leclerc gave Lando Norris a hammer blow by winning. Max Verstappen was second, Russell third, Sainz fourth, Hamilton fifth, Norris sixth, Vettel seventh, Gasly eighth, Drogovic ninth, and Latifi rounded off the points in tenth. Race weekend two of three. And it was Brazil Sprint Weekend, where Charles Leclerc won the sprint race ahead of Russell in second, Norris was third, Vettel fourth, Hamilton fifth, Bottas sixth, Gasly seventh, and Drogovic finished in eighth. And then in the Grand Prix, Leclerc kept picking up the points as he won ahead of Norris in second, Verstappen third, Hamilton fourth, Russell fifth, Sainz sixth, Vettel seventh, Gasly 8th, Sonoda 9th and Bottas finished in 10th. And all that meant heading into the final race of the season. There are 12 points in it. Charles Leclerc is on 391 points to Lando Norris is 379. Verstappen and Russell completely out of it. Who's going to win it? Let's find out. Well, it was Charles Leclerc. Max Verstappen won the race in Abu Dhabi and Russell came second. Leclerc getting on the podium and therefore finishing higher than Norris, who actually failed to finish. And it is his driver's championship, his third driver's championship of this series. Hamilton was fourth, Vettel fifth, Bottas sixth, Gasly seventh, Sonoda eighth, Ocon ninth, and Latifi, in what has been a very disappointing season for him, picked up a point in tenth. So yes, Charles Leclerc is the season five champion. He ended up 28 points ahead of Lando Norris. Max Verstappen was third, Russell fourth, Vettel fifth, Hamilton sixth, Sainz seventh, Gasly eighth, Latifi finished a very disappointing ninth, and Bottas rounded off the top 10. And in the constructors, McLaren just about held on Ferrari was second, 16 points off the pace. Mercedes, 32 points off the pace in third. Red Bull, fourth. Alpine, fifth. Alpha Tauri, sixth. Haas, seventh. Aston Martin, eighth. And Williams and Alfa Romeo both failed to score all season. So there we have it. Five seasons down, three different champions. Charles Leclerc, a three-time world champion. After a brilliant hunt down of Lando Norris, who was miles ahead of him at one stage. Will he retain his title next season? I guess we'll have to wait and see. But until then, I'll catch you guys later.